All right, this is a demonstration of how to get TOVA data off of any computer. I'm assuming that you've run a lot of subjects, and so now you're pulling them off en masse. In fact, these instructions will also work if you are uh, going to print off the data as soon as you've run a subject. Of course, we have to invoke TOVA. Now, um, you can just wait a few seconds and it will go to the menus, or you can just click, as I just did. Let's pull up a subject who's been run. I went to File, and we're going to look at this one right here, which is TOVA uh, S2362. I select it. If I want to print the data, I obviously have to open the file. Now, you would think that you could print from here. That would make a great deal of sense. You notice when you go to Interpretation, you can't do that. So what do you have to do? Believe it or not, you have to enter Test Mode. So we are now about to do that. Just say OK. and we are going to go into the precision test environment. Coffee helps when you are doing this. <clears throat> it then reboots because this TOVA runs in DOS and so it actually has to get out of Windows and go back to DOS. It's a little bit of a slow, tedious process, frankly. When this happens, don't freak out. Don't freak out, just wait. There we go. Now we're back again. You can just wait or you can click on the mouse. And here we are. Now notice what happens. Interpretation. We interpret the test. We say OK. This will use one interpretation credit. We say OK. It has now saved the file. Should we display the report? Why not? What could be more fun? Now we are going to exit test mode. You have now interpreted the TOVA. What you have to do now is to open this up and export it into the TOVA export folder where you can then print it at your leisure. So we've, we've burned one credit to interpret it. Once you've interpreted, however, a TOVA file, you never burn a credit by opening it again. So you can open it as many times as you want. By the way, once you've interpreted it, obviously it won't let you interpret it again. So there you have it. So don't interpret, if you're practicing on the TOVA, don't uh, interpret those files unless we have lots and lots of credit because they're really $15 each. So we're coming back up. It's mostly a tedious process. Not difficult, just tedious. You could actually have this video running on the computer next to you while you uh, print these out. Although I'll have a written uh, list of what to do. Alright, now the thing to do is just don't touch anything. We're back. Don't worry about that little stuff. I like to let Windows uh, start up normally. It's only about 15 seconds. And it just makes sure that everything in Windows that needs to be loaded is loaded. If you hit continue it will bounce on faster. But I like to let it do its thing because I just want to make sure every part of the operating system is loaded. Okay, again, if I do nothing and I'm not going to do anything, it'll move on after about five or six seconds. Otherwise, just click the mouse and you're there. There we go. Okay, now notice I go to export and we're going to export all this stuff. I'm going to say okay. And what is that file called? He says moving his coffee cup. This file is going to be called 0100 and really all you need to write down is 3701 and I'm going to say OK exporting we're done now I'm going to get out for a minute just I would normally open up the next TOVA file and do the same thing and just create a whole list but we're going to get out for a moment and I'm going to show you where that file is put this stupid thing away I'm going to look for it and where is it I'm going to go down to start 
make sure you can see that. I'm going to go down to start. I'm going to go up to my computer. I'm going to look on drive C. So I'm going to open up C and look what's down on the bottom. There is Tova 7. And we exported the file. So where is it? It's in export. And it was called 3701. There it is. And all I have to do now <coughs> is make sure that there's a connection to the printer. Uh, for upstairs in N115, you have to make sure that the computer at the end, which has the printer attached to it, is connected to the internet. And you would have to make sure that the Tova station is connected to the internet. And I actually haven't done that, but there's our file right there. All you have to do is print it, it prints out, and you are good to go. It's a little bit complicated and a little bit illogical, but not so bad.